Welcome to Nibbling with the Neighbors. Come on in and have a bite. So I am here and the last time that I made these I promised you that I would make sure that I videotaped it the next time because I didn't get a chance last time. So I am making enchiladas. I know this is just a tortilla. So first what you want to do is just get your normal taco meat and stuff ready. Um, if you're using ground beef, use ground beef. If you're using chicken, chicken, get it ready how you would normally get it when you're going to make tacos. And then you get the beans ready. If you use beans in your enchiladas, you could do that. Okay? So first, you want to put your oven on 375 to start preheating it. Okay? So I like to use these pans because they're disposable or we can reuse them if we need to. Um, so this is the pan I have ready. I put some spray in it so um, the enchiladas don't stick to the bottom. So what I'm going to do... I will leave it right here. Now I have an order. I have my sauce made, my enchilada sauce, refried beans, um, ground beef, and cheese. So what I do first is I always aluminum foil a pan. This is like my working pan that I'm going to be working with. So I take, I do five or six at a time. So I will show you because I know you can't see because these pans are in the way. But this is what it's going to look like. Um, when you put them on there. So I do five, I'm doing six at a time right now. And then I have my little cuppy cuppy here and I take this and pour just a tad, like maybe a teaspoonful of sauce on each tortilla. Then now this is how I make it. Other people may make it differently. Ooh, sorry. Little brush here. Okay, so what I do is I let me dip in the sauce. You don't have to dip it in the sauce, but I just kind of spread the sauce around the whole tortilla on the inside, so there's sauce as well on the inside as on the outside. Um, I do that for each one, so that's what I'm doing now, and then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, and then put that in the plate. So this is what it would look like when I'm done. All six tortillas just kind of has a little bit of sauce in it. And then what I do is um, I normally do the beans first. So I put, you know, a spoonful of beans in each one. Just like this. You can use more if you want to. Some people like a lot of beans. Um, so there's a spoonful in each one. And then I take a spoonful of ground beef, just like that, and put it on each one, just like that. And you kind of want to spread it around, you know, so it's along the whole tortilla, so you're not getting, you know, just like plain tortilla. Okay, last one. This around. Then I take some cheese and I just put a little tiny bit of cheese on the top of each one. So then it should look like this. I don't know if you can see it very well, but there you go. It should look like that when you're done. Woo! Windy. Holy cow. Scared me. Okay, so then you want to roll them up. And see if I can put this pan over and this pan over just for a minute. Sorry, my toothpicks are here because Isabel doesn't like beans. So, so what you want to do is you want to take the tortilla, I don't know if you can see it, I hope you can, and just kind of like put it over like that and I roll it kind of tight so it looks like that and then I put it in the pan like that and I'll show you what they look like when I'm done in the pan. Um, this way you're able to fit a decent amount um, the smaller you roll them. You can roll them big too if you want them fat. You know, whatever. To each his own. So I'm just rolling this up. And 
And now for the enchilada sauce, you can use the recipe offline. You can buy it from the store. Um, you can do whatever you want to do, however you want to use it. I um, buy some enchilada sauce from the store, but then I also add some stuff into it. So um, that's my little secret. <laughs> so I'm not going to tell you guys what it is. But anyway, um, so that's what I do. Okay, and then this is the last one. And sorry, my nose itches, allergies. So I always have paper towel because your fingers are going to get kind of dirty um, when you're doing that. So that's what it should look like in the pan like that. I'm going to finish off this pan real quick and I will come back and show you what's next. All right, so I finished the rest of this pan. Now you can see that these right here have toothpicks in it. These are my daughter. She doesn't like beans, so... Um, but the rest of these all have beans and stuff in it. So this is what it looks like right here. Then what I do is I take the enchilada sauce and I pour it over like this. Um, if you like a lot of sauce, you can put a lot of sauce on there. My kids really don't like a lot of sauce. So I like them to be just covered and that's fine with them. I'm just covering them up and this is what their pan looks like just like that just enough to cover it up and then what I do is sprinkle a little bit of cheese on it like so like that and then I will put this pan off to the side um, because um, I'll have to cover it with aluminum foil and then I have two other pans to make. Now I will come back when I get done with the very first pan for like Craig and Junior. Um, I don't like a lot of sauce either so I'll make another pan that's kind of medium sauce and then I make another pan that's got a lot of sauce. So once I get that pan done I will come back and show you what that looks like. So I will be back in a minute. Alright so I have both the other pans done like this. Like this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is this is going to be the very saucy pan. So I'm going to take the cup and I just pour one, two, three, four. Four cups of enchilada sauce over this pan. And then I take this brush and I spread it around so... It gets all the sauce everywhere. Actually, I'm going to add one more cup. I'm just going to kind of sporadically put it everywhere. Okay. So that's what that looks like right there. Then we're going to put the cheese on it like so. And there you have it right there. Now I'm going to do this pan. This pan is only going to get one, two cups, just like that. And then I'm going to spread this around so it covers the enchiladas again, like I said before. So that's what this one looks like. And then cheese again on this one. And it looks like that. Okay, so then you want to cover them up with aluminum foil and put the, them in the oven for, I'd say, about 30 minutes. So 30 minutes on 375. That gets everything melted and warm. And once it's done, I will be back to show you what it looks like. All right, enchiladas are done. That is what they look like when they're done. Here's the other two pans that I have done. Yummy, yummy. And that is how I make my enchiladas. Other people may make it differently, but that's how it's done. So I hope you have a great night. And please give this a like. Subscribe if you haven't. And please share this video with everybody. I will see you tomorrow.